Life is short. Break the rules, forgive quickly, kiss slowly. Love truly, laugh uncontrollably. These are just some of the rules that I live my life by. Welcome to my day. This is going to be a grand day. I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, shall we move on to the next scene? I think so. Hello, I'm in the office now. I've just had to pop in to do some uh, paperwork. Excuse me. Alexa, can you turn yourself off, please? I'm doing my little round and I'm just going to take you in to see one of our businesses, uh, show you what they're all about. We're going to have a conversation with the owner, hopefully. So let's turn the camera around like we normally do, get out of the road and uh, we'll have a chat. Right, this is Rude Not To, one of our most well-established businesses in Weymouth. Let's go in and see what he's got to say. I'll introduce you. Oh, so, oh hello, Tony. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I see you hiding. What are you up to? Uh, I'm just walking around town, and I thought I'd just come in and maybe do a highlight of one of our businesses in the town. That's a good idea. You got a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, everybody, this is Tony. Hi. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about your business, how long you've been going for? Oh, a very, very long time. We started in the early 80s, um, and as you can see, if you have a quick look round, uh, we're a Scar Two-Tone Northern Soul clothing shop. We do lots of 1960s clothing. There you go. And um, so how long have you been open now? Uh, it's a couple of weeks. Right. So, yeah. And uh, you've been closed for about three months? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 13 weeks in all, I think. Closed. Yeah, how have you found that? Has it hit the business hard? Yeah, obviously 13 weeks without taking anything um, was quite tricky. We didn't have much in the way of internet sales. Uh, I don't think people were really going out and wearing nice clothes, so they're all staying in. Um, so it's been quite tricky, but it's lovely to be open again. Um, we're finding it that we, our regulars are coming back in, and um, it's nice to have adult conversation. I was looking after little, little children, so it's uh, nice to be back in the swing of things. You know. Cool. What, what do you think about the um, the whole recovery of the high street? Um, you know, you, you're probably one of the most well-established businesses in, in Weymouth for the amount of trading time you've been going for, the length of time. What, what, what do you think about the recovery of the high street? What's the future, do you think? Well, people are out and about. They want to be out and about. They're, they're fed up with being at home. So um, with all the precautions everybody's put in place, um, I think they're fairly safe in the shops. Um, I haven't had any problems with the customers, they are staying away from each other, we've had a maximum of three or four people in the shop at any one time, unless it's one family. Um, so it's, I think that there, there will be a recovery, um, and people love Weymouth, you know, so they want to visit. The the that is true, they we're a fantastic town aren't we? We've been really lucky with the weather this year, um, and that always puts a smile on people's face. And, makes them want to sort of go and buy an ice cream and have the best fish and chips in town. We're, we're, we're privileged in Weymouth. We've got some of the best sort of little independents, that been, whether it be clothing or, or food or sweets or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're very lucky, so, yeah. so it's worth visiting. Cool. I'm just going to do some little uh, film rolls of, of your products, if that's all right, to show people what you do. Yeah. Hang on, there's a, there's a big lorry going to be passing in a minute. So I'm just going to uh, wait for that. Right, so Tony, what's your um, stock like? Got any new bits in? Yeah, um, there's lots of lovely things that people didn't see because we closed down. We literally got ready for Easter and all the, all the new stock came in and um, some lovely new shirts and bits and pieces ready for spring summer. Um, so it's been a bit of a surprise for the regulars because they didn't, if you went from seeing the, the original stock for the winter, it's all of a sudden when we reopened, bam, everything was in here ready to go because we put it in here you know, while we were locked down. Um, so that's been quite nice because um, usually it trickles in. You do get a little bit in each week, and slowly but surely the shop changes for spring summer. But they've come into a, you know like a well, not a brand new store, but lots of new product. Um, cool. Which is good. And then just finally mo moving forward, all positive for you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, just got to do our best really, keep going. And um, like I said, it's nice to see all these old customers that are coming back, especially the visitors, um, the locals have been supporting us anyway, but the visitors are coming back to Weymouth now, um, they're in the guest houses and hotels and so on, 
Good. Um, need some entertainment now, if we're allowed to, or when we're allowed, that would be good. Because the entertainment in Weymouth is amazing. We've got a great music scene, and we'd love to get that going again. Okay. Right. Finally, how about a shameless plug for Rude Not To? Wow. Who you are, where you are, and where to find you? Well, we're in Weymouth, uh, just off the beach, and my favourite saying, it'd be Rude Not To, wouldn't it? So come on down to Weymouth and check us out. At Bond Street? Bond Street, yeah cool thanks tony i'm going to do some film rolls and uh yeah good luck moving Great. forward nice to see you Ed. Thanks okay for coming in. cheers bye So that's Tony from the shop, rude not to. If you ever come to Weymouth, uh, go and have a look. He's in Bond Street. Um, yeah, some really good clothes in there, plays really good music, and he sells records. Fantastic shop. I'll see you next time. Bye.